Hey, this is Don from Dead Tree Woodworks. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, there's a lot of folks out there that show videos on uh, drying stuff. And I just thought I'd go over how I have been uh, having some pretty good luck. And it's kind of a combination of different ways. These are uh, dry holes ready to be finished turned. And the technique I'm going to show you is, is what I've been using. You can see there's no checking on the end grains on this particular one. I'm getting about 70 to 80 percent like this, um, which to me is pretty good. I've tried the, the old sawdust in the bag, wait a year, and that's that's that works. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying sometimes I want to get stuff quicker than that. Um, maybe a special order or something and so I had to come up with some other way to do it once they're dry I put them in this little room here under the stairs and I've got it sealed off with plastic and I have a dehumidifier in here to keep them at a uh, between 6 and 10 percent moisture uh, is what I'm shooting for and now uh, I'll show you where I do this in just a moment be right back Okay, once I've roughed the bowls out, I leave them set. Uh, first thing they do is they soak for at least 24 hours in a, in a this is a liquid dish soaked 6 to 1 ratio. And there's a couple I roughed out last night, you can see them. Um, once, uh, they're only sitting here basically for about a week and a half to two weeks. It's until I get a full load for the I call it a kiln, but it's just a refrigerator, uh, repurposed one might say. Um, and once I get a full load, then it, they'll go into there, and I'll take you and show you what I'm talking about there. This is the repurposed refrigerator, and unlike the ones I've seen on on uh, YouTube, most of them are are circulating air in and out of their their drying facility or whatever you want to call it. And this is not that way. Uh, actually it's a sealed environment uh, where the all the moisture that comes in from the bowl blanks that I've roughed out is going to stay in here and evaporate very slowly. An important thing about this type of a system is that you fill it right to the rim. I mean you want to chuck this thing as full as you can get it. You want to have a real moist environment and it takes about two weeks to drive the moisture out and uh, that process uh, I monitor with a moisture meter and also by weight. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill this and I'll show you how full I mean when I'm saying that. Just showing you what it's like when it's on. Uh, I've got a small heat shield above the, the uh, light that just for the balls, I don't care so much about the other stuff. Um, and that is a 75 watt light bulb. Incandescent. Alright, this is what I'm talking about by full. You can see there's very little air space in here. And these are all quite wet. I've even got some... Uh, pieces that have gone through well this is this will be the third cycle on these uh, for drying square stock it's still a work in progress obviously but I guess I'll keep you posted as to how things are working with this um, so far I've run uh, one, two, three, four, five loads through it and generally it, it takes about ten days um, Sometimes 11, sometimes a little more or less. Um, and it gets me to a place where I have stock fairly quickly. After I take it out, I usually let it rest for a little while to kind of equalize with the shop environment. At least a week. I've tried a lot of different drying ways and this one seems to be working pretty good. So, um... I'll keep you posted. I've only seen one gentleman on, on YouTube, and this was quite a while back. Uh, he used something similar to this, only he was using a dishwasher. Um, 
and he ran his quite hot. Uh, this one only will achieve about 120 degrees. Uh, and that's only at the end of the drying cycle because it starts off really slow with all this moisture in there. It, um, it'll only get up to like 75, 80 degrees, but as the days progress, the temperature rises. And that, in my way of looking at things, is a good way to dry a piece. You take the temperature up gradually. Um, it's kind of the way it works in a dry kiln, just because of the mass of lumber, the thermal mass, let's just say. Something I forgot to mention, um, one thing I've been contemplating, because I do get some uh, minor checking uh, just in the process of me waiting to get enough bowls to fill it. Um, I've been contemplating running a load through and storing the bowls in this environment, in a sealed environment, until I get uh, it full and can turn it on. Uh, to me, that that's probably what's going to happen on the next load. Um, we'll try that, and I'll let you know how that works out. Thanks.